Handstand splits to Ekapada Dhanurasana. Firm the shoulder girdle and inhale, kick right up into an open split handstand. Let your back open and the legs extend as you point your toes. Once you find a nice deep arch, bend your left knee and reach the left toe towards the top of the head. Find your back bend in this position. Then exhale as you reach your left foot to the ground, keeping the right up in the air. Keep engaging your right quadricep as you straighten the elbows and pause for a moment to open the back and settle into the posture. Exhale, right foot down. Then walk your hands in close to your left foot and we'll see if we can reach all the way around. First take one hand and hold onto your ankle, then come down onto the elbow. Then inhale and exhale, take the other hand onto the ankle. Stabilize the posture in the elbows, firm your pelvic floor, and inhale, reach your right foot up in the air again for Ekapada Chakra Bandhasana. Breathe fully and relax as much as you can. Ready for the other side? Inhale, jump your right foot up and come into the right side split. Let your extended back do the work of the posture as the arms are straight. Find your pelvic floor and find your maximum spinal back bend, then reach the right toe to the top of the head and then exhale slowly reach towards the ground as you extend the left foot up in the air point your toe deep in the back bend find the breath in the posture you can walk the hands a little bit in and then exhale as you settle into the depth of the movement take your left foot down walk in as far as you can grab your right ankle while still remaining in Urdhva Dhanurasana then come down onto the elbows and exhale and grab the right ankle with the left hand find the stable base from your elbows and the heel of your right foot and then inhale lift your left foot up in the air pointing your toe settle into the posture breathe deeply and relax the mind